all right on Sundays. I got another one. Five door frozen food case. 15 years old, 58 degrees. So once I get the bottom covers and grills off, Fortunately, we have hot water up here. I just need to find a way to open that because I don't have my water key. And so I believe I found one one aisle away. Sure did. So I got my water hose ready to go. Yep, like I said, full of ice. So another couple hours washing a case with my water from up there. Okay, so now I got it all defrosted. I got it running. So to try to figure out why it froze up in the first place, well, I found out that these fans stay running. See, right now it's in defrost, and the fans are running. They shouldn't. So to figure out why, let me show you. First thing I do is find uh, the switch that's keeping them on. To do that, I get an amp draw off of one of the fan leads. In this case, I can actually follow it. It's these wires right here. So. Fans getting power from this right here. This is a 240 volt, uh, normally open and normally closed, three wire relay. The red wires give it power. It needs 240 volts to energize. It gets it from these two, these two terminals right here that these red ones are going into on this side, one and four. They're also going in back there. It's pretty hard for you to see, but they are. in we have big lines coming in here this is three phase 240 volts two of the phases go in go into these right here which these are fuse holders I got the fuses right there so I got hot power coming in right here and then the fuses bring them out to these red lines these red lines go into this relay right here. Look at the diagram on this relay. You can see the terminals 0 and 1 are for the coil. That's going to be these ones right there, closer to me, or the ones on the right of this video right here, on the right side of the screen. So the left side is going to be terminals 2, 4, 6, and 8. So when the switch is not energized, then the power does not go across these four wires. You can see that when it's energized, uh, what happens is six and eight it becomes a closed circuit, two and four become a closed circuit, and when it's not energized, the circuits open and power does not go through them. So this switch, the inputs coming into terminals eight and four from my left side, you see, I've got one of them pulled, give power to terminals six and two, which go that way, and that's what gives 240 volts to one and four and also to this little relay. This switch is a 24 volt coil. See right there, it's upside down. I know it's upside down, my bad. I found out that this switch is not working because when it is energized, it doesn't let power go between the two uh, circuits. You can see right now, I've got 24 volts going into that switch. But what I don't have is continuity the way that I should. I don't have it, ugh, I don't have it there, you see? But I do have it on the left side. Now I've got two different switches that I have in my truck, two different options. They're both 24 volt coil relays, see? I know this one will work. But I think this one will work, but I'm going to have to find out because this, this little diagram kind of confuses me. All right, so the switch that I'm going to use to replace it is this one. It is a 24 volt coil. This is my see the diagram on it. You have the number one. 
common and number four is common. These are two things that do two two different three-way uh, circuits, I guess, that do the same thing at the same time when they get a 24 volt input. So my, my inputs go on the left and my outputs go over here on the right side. And my 24 volts go down here on the bottom. Okay, so just like that is how I got it wired. And that's gonna do what this did. Okay, so I just put it in defrost. So let's see if these fans stop with the rest of them. They did. All right, that's good. That's a job well done. Cool, new relay. Had to put a new fuse in too because I, I blew this one. All right, well, that's another coil washed and a 24 volt relay that energizes a 240 volt relay, which switches between the fan and the heaters. Uh, replaced, replaced the relay. Let's see, let's check power here. So our heat strip uh, that we just connected, or that we just allowed to be energized is pulling 2.32 volts, I mean amps. Cool, that's it. I appreciate you watching.